Once you have confirmed that the measurement of constructs is reliable and valid, the next step addresses the assessment of structural model results. Step 1. We assess the collinearity issues in structural model. So the first step, multicollinearity. How do we assess multicollinearity? Again, we have already done this for items and for our formative model. Now, structural model coefficients for the relationship between constructs are derived from estimating a series of regression equations. Now, as point estimates and standard errors, errors can be biased by strong correlation of each set of predictor constructs. So, the predictor construct may have higher correlation with each other. And then, your point estimates may get biased. Now, again, for this purpose, you will have to assess your collinearity issues. Now, how do we do this? We will check for variance inflation factor. And the VIF value between 3 to 5 shows that there are no critical issues of multicollinearity. Anything greater than this may show that there is a collinearity problem. And in that case, you may want to create higher order constructs. Now, how do we do this? Where is our illustration? Now, again, just a quick recap. So you've got your library, your data, measurement model specified, structural model specified, PLS model estimated, you summarize your results. Now in order to assess the collinearity, what I need to do is I need to simply call in this sub object. That is summary underscore simple, which is already created. Look at this. This is summary underscore simple holding the estimated model here, the summary of the estimated model. And what you need to do is just summary underscore simple dollar sorry the dollar sign and we need vif of antecedents click here and then run it and here are your look at this less than three all of them so there is no issue of multicollinearity among the antecedents now, as we can see, obviously the VIF values are well below the threshold, so it can be concluded that collinearity among predictor constructs is likely not a critical issue in the structural model, and we can continue examine the result report. Now, moving on, that now we have assessed the collinearity, the next step is assessing the structural relationship.